Hi, I'm Steve Albini and I'm going to show you how I tune toms. There are basically three ways that you can tune a drum. You can tune the drum so that it has a, a, a consonant sound, meaning that the top head and the bottom head, the batter head and the resonant head, are tuned to the same pitch and reinforce each other with a single tone. Um, and that will be the longest sustaining sound of the, of the drum and the cleanest pitch that you can discern from the drum. And if I imitate that with my mouth, which is kind of stupid, but that's the easiest way for me to explain it to you, it, it makes a kind of a bum sound where there's a, a smooth, long decay, but the pitch doesn't change over the time that the drum is sustaining. Um, another way that you can tune the drums is so that the, the bottom head is slightly higher in pitch uh, at, than the top head. Uh, that tends to shorten the decay of the drum as the top head and the, uh, and the bottom head uh, sort of compete with each other. And the, the initial attack that you hear is the pitch of the top head. The sustaining sound is the sound of the bottom head. Um, and because they're different pitches, they tend to cancel each other out and shorten the decay of the drum. Um, that's, a, that's quite common in jazzier drum sets uh, where you want a, a, a quick speak from the drum, but you don't want it to hang around and sustain too much. And I'll, I'll imitate that with my mouth as well um, because it's the easiest way for me to explain it. So the initial attack is from the top head and then the sustaining sound is from the bottom head. And that has a, a sound that sort of goes bum where there's a, an initial attack pitch, and then the sustaining sound sort of chokes the sound off as it rises. So, bam is what I would, how I would describe that. The third way of tuning the drums uh, is what I would call a falling tone. And that is where the top head and the bottom head are different pitches, but the bottom head is slightly lower in pitch than the top head. So the sustaining sound of the drum falls um, relative to the initial attack. So you hit the drum and you hear the initial attack and then the sustaining sound decays at a lower pitch. And I'll imitate that with my mouth as well. And that goes, bam. So the sustaining sound is lower in pitch than the initial attack. Um, again, it won't be as long as a, as a, a, of a sustain as the consonant tuning, uh, but it has a different effect from the rising tone on the resonant head. This is the consonant tuning on a rack tom. The top head, the bottom head, and the shell should all be very similar in pitch. This is the shell. This is the bottom head. And this is the top head. I'll show you what that sounds like with a stick. And I'll show you the same thing on a floor tom. It's sometimes easier to hear uh, on one or the other drum the effect of the change in tuning. This is the shell of the floor tom. This is the top head. This is the bottom head. And I'll just play the drum with a mallet because some, the, playing it with a mallet you hear fewer overtones and it's a little easier to hear the pitch. And I'll play it with a stick. So this is the same drums, the Ludwig drums, but with the bottom head raised in pitch relative to the top head. So the shell frequency is the same. Bottom head is lower. Uh, bottom head is higher. The top head is lower. I'll play that for you with a stick. Um, I'll 
show you the same thing on the floor tom. This is the shell. This is the bottom head. Oh, sorry. This is the bottom head. And this is the top head. I'll play the same thing for you with a stick here. So this is the rack tom tuned with the top head higher in pitch than the bottom head. So the decaying tone of the drum will fall in pitch and tends to make the drum sound slightly deeper. That's the shell. That's the bottom head. That's the top head. I'll play it for you with a stick. This is the same tuning regime on the floor tom, that is the, the shell and one of the heads are the same pitch, but the top and bottom heads are lower. Uh, the top head is higher than the bottom head. So this is the shell. This is the bottom head. This is the top head. Play it for you with a stick. In this tuning regime, it's a little easier to hear the falling decay on the floor tom than it was on the rack tom, but you get a, a hint of it on the rack tom. 